if you love Markdown, I guess that's because of its portability since a lot of tools like GitHub support Markdown format. So you can use it for writing notes, documentations, blogs, emails, chat messages, and on and on. That's the one of the biggest reasons why I love Markdown so much. And I built my own app that lets you take notes in Markdown called Exorop. It helps you organize Markdown notes elegantly and syncs across devices smoothly. To take full advantage of Markdown's portability, there's room to improve it further. That is the integration ability for other tools. Hi, it's Tucker here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to work on improving the integration capability of Inkjobs so that you can easily work with other existing tools. Inkjob provides its crowd.sync feature by utilizing the CouchDB replication protocol. It also comes with the end-to-end -end encryption to protect your data. While supporting both data sync and encryption, encryption features, adding the capability of integration is a challenge. Because your data is encrypted in client, so it is not possible to provide the REST API on the Inkjob server. But I thought that it's possible to run HTTP server in the client app itself. By doing so, you can access your notes through a simple REST API from external programs uh, in your computer. The API endpoint only accepts connections from localhost, uh, which means that it doesn't accept connections from external computers by default, so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, unexpected data leakage. This feature would unlock a lot of possibilities. For example, I'm planning to make a web clipper in the future. It allows you to clip web pages from a web browser to Inkjob quickly. The browser extension posts a web page converted into Markdown to the local Inkjob server. So it would be super useful to stock tech tips, uh, projects, libraries, and so on. It also allows you to integrate tools like Alfred. Alfred is a powerful alternative to Spotlight on macOS. Uh, by integrating Inkjob and Alfred, you can instantly search your notes from Alfred without switching the window. Sounds cool, right? So let's get started. Okay, I built a local server module here. I use the core <coughs> to build the API because it supports async await out of the box. So something like this. It's a, a root endpoint. It just returns the app information, app version here, and you can use async await here. It's simple and uh, easy to use. And here is the uh, uh, node API. Uh, you can get node data uh, by calling this API. It supports uh, keyword filtering. Otherwise, it returns all nodes uh, based on options. Okay, let's run it. Uh, okay, here. Let's try uh, calling the REST API using call. Call HTTP here. Something like this. Okay. Boom. So it returns a, a single node, as you can see. You can also specify keyword. Uh, JavaScript. Yeah, it works great. The next step is to build an Alfred workflow that allows you to search nodes instantly by invoking this API. Okay, let's do it.
So I built the Alfred workflow here, and I wrote a small PHP module that invokes the Inkdrop API. It accepts uh, our conf server configuration here, and uh, it searches nodes by specified query. And it invokes uh, the REST API here, and parses JSON data, it returns as XML data to show the search result on Alfred. Uh, okay, so the app is already running. So let's try it. Uh, here is the Alfred and the type ink and keyword. So as you can see, it searches nodes based on the uh, input keyword. And uh, uh, here is the here is the Inktop window. So if you if you hit enter, boom, it opens the nodes. It's pretty neat. So you can quickly search the nodes and open it. Uh, it's so cool. So let's try another keyword. Axios. Okay. Yeah. So you can try this new feature on the beta version of Inkshop. At the moment, it's only available for the paid users, but it will be soon available for everyone once uh, published officially. You can check out the documentation on how to set up the server and the Alfred work from here. I can't wait to see how you will make use of it. Well, next up is, of course, implementing Web Clipper. I'm already working on building a browser extension. So if you're interested in the web clipper, uh, please check out my Twitter account and uh, I'll keep you posted. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, more videos like this one in the future. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace.